Okay, so I'm now minutes away from having literally the most important phone call I've had to date. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you guys don't know, this is a new thing I'm doing on my channel where I try to vlog every single week. Hey, this thing is choking me. I vlog every single day, try to make quarantine seem interesting, and then upload it every Friday. Okay, so I just got off of work, and oddly enough, I can't find my parents anywhere. Hello? 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 Oh, hi, April. Anyway, I uploaded last week's vlog, and it got copyright claimed, so now I have to try and fix that real quick and still get it up today, because I tweeted about it and promised, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I should just try not using copyrighted music. Okay, so I re-edited that with some different music. I don't think it quite hits as well as I wanted it to, but YouTube seems to really hit my videos hard when they're copyright claimed. Like, they just don't get seen as much, I get less comments, I get less views, I get less likes. I don't want as many of you guys to see this content as possible because, you know, that's kind of why I'm making it. Well, anyway, for the next uh, 12 minutes while that renders, I need to clean up because look at this mess, dude. My mom would be ashamed. Well, look at this, bro. What? Listen, guys, lay off. I've been working full time and I got a lot of homework. Okay, I don't need the sass. Oh, big brain moment. Check it out, dude. Check it out, dude. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I can reuse. Oh, oh wait. Actually, some of these are my notes. I can reuse trash to throw away the trash. Oh, I'm, it's leaking, oh, it's leaking all over me. That was really bad, that was really not good. Uh, uh, it's leaking on both sides, what do I do? Okay, uh, sink. Look at this crap, dude, it looks like I peed my pants. Okay, maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. Man, what a start to the vlog. Okay, now we expertly move it from the sink into a bag. It's still leaking, how's that happening, dude? How are you still leaking? Like I said, guys, big brain moments only around here. Please don't leak more, please don't leak more. Please. It's still leaking, it's still leaking. Okay, and it is no longer my problem. Hey, bro, don't tell mom, okay? Thank you, I love you. Package came that I'm very excited about. It's just something I wanted to try. Grab this and this. And then the really important ingredient, this. Okay, and then you, and then, and then you, uh, is this a bad idea? This is race fuel. I... <coughs> bro, get out. <coughs> yes, Tim, just drink race fuel. It's great. And then you do this carefully. Yes, okay. Oh, no! Yes, Tim, awesome! Spill race fuel everywhere, dude! Yes! Yes, bro! <sighs> yes, awesome! It smells great in here now. About to explode at any time. Awesome, Tim! <laughs> See? Easy! Alright, let's head to the gas station. Oh, uh, what? Let's head to the gas station. <laughs> no cold start, unfortunately, because my car is still barely warm. Okay, so now we just put that in there, if it will stay. And then we just fill up with the gas we'd normally fill up with. And basically what that does is it boosts the octane a little bit. So, so hopefully we can get some nice pops out of it. So we put on our, our pop in tune. And uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Not sure if you guys can hear it because of the wind, but... Yeah, there they are. I hope you guys can hear them. These are sounding good. Maybe with the windows up. Pops, baby. Oh. Oh, there's a big one. Oh my god, bro. Oh, these are good ones, boys. Oh. And send it up the hill. Oh no, I feel bad. There's a grandma. I'm so sorry, grandma. Wait, that's not even a grandma. That's a dude with the bike. What the heck? Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some in the garage, maybe. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna put you guys outside to hear this. Oh, that last one was a gunshot, bro. Did you hear that, Dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. Unfortunately, I need to go to bed now because I have to wake up at 5.30 a.m. for work. So I'll see y'all in the morn. Good night. Sorry neighbors, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good morning, sorry. Okay, great day at work, absolutely killed it at work. It is a beautiful day today. Like seriously, it doesn't get any better than this. So now I'm gonna go home, clean my car, and then me and some friends are gonna go on a cruise again. I know you guys are probably sick of car content, but there's nothing else to do during quarantine. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Very sorry. You were filming. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just saw it walk off this and then it just fell and started like writhing in the ground. What is the ant doing? The ant's trying to move, the ant is moving him. Barely. Look at that, bro, that's crazy. Wow, nature is beautiful. I wonder if I leave my camera somewhere, I can like time lapse this dude trying to move the bug. He's dragging him up the wall, dude. This guy's crazy. And then this ant is dragging another dead ant. That sure was cool to watch. My car is done. And now that I'm done cleaning my car, me and my friends are gonna go for a cruise. Check it out. Hi, cutie. Oh, April. <laughs> oh, she just she's just going out to relax on her bed. What a cutie. She just vibing. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, that is my dog, April. She is a cutie, but she's getting kind of old and it's getting kind of hard for her to walk. I just heard s some loud car outside my house and it might be, it sounds like one of my friends. Let's go see. Never mind, I'm just crazy. There it is again, bro. What is it? What is that? Was it the UPS man? The UPS man just drove by. It might have been him, bro. Those cars were... It was that thing. It was the UPS man. Oh my gosh. Dude. Okay, so I hear, I hear this like... And then I hear like bass, you know, like a, like a subwoofer or something. I, it made the same sound with the UPS man driving away. That was the UPS man and he's bumping something in that car. Holy crap, look at him go, dude. Okay, so my dad, who is allergic to bees, is gonna go kill a bee's nest. Oh dang, that thing got range on it. Well, that was easy. All right, dad, give it to me. Let me show you. Oh, there you go, now you're getting the nest. I'll go over and kick that thing. <laughs> See if they come out and kill me. Can I actually hit it, run by and like hit it and then keep? Yeah. Okay. Let me get like a bat or something. Here we go. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> I don't think I got it on video, but so many bees just came out of that. Oh yeah, yeah I'm not gonna do that thing. Let them get him when they settle down a bit. Hello. <laughs> I was talking to Shoyar and I was like, bro, why is your tiny two liter car louder than mine? Because my fucking fan is on, dog. If I turn my fan on, it gets louder. If I turn it off, it gets quiet. <laughs> what? Bro, oh my God. Bro, I didn't know it was that loud. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, Jojo, something's leaking. <laughs> and he's so calm about it. Well, that sure was fun, but I checked my work schedule and it turns out that I work at 5 a.m. every day this week. I've never worked that early. You know, 6 a.m. last week was bad. 5 a.m. this week? It's all right. It's gonna be fun. And at least that means that when I'm done with my shift, I still have like the rest of the day ahead of me. And on the bright side, that means I get to wake up at 4.20. Nice. Hi, April. What's going on out here? Oh. You got a lot more trust than I do, father. 
You wanna trust your mom? No. Okay, so another great day at work. Another beautiful, beautiful day. Um, the nicest thing about waking up that early is that I got done with a full day of work and I still have like a bunch of time ahead of me. Now the only struggle is trying not to take a nap, but I can actually fall asleep tonight at like 8 p.m. because I have to wake up at like 4 a.m. <sighs> It's okay, I'll just try to stay productive. I'll try to edit, I'll try to do whatever. We'll see how that goes. Go to sleep. <sighs> okay. Okay, time to be productive. I'm gonna edit a little bit. That's about it, that's really all I can think about. Okay, so I just got back from a walk with my family. That was great, spending some time with them. I got back and I ordered some parts for my car, which I'm very excited about, which I don't know why. They're not gonna increase speed at all. It's more of preparing for future speed. I don't know, you'll see when I get it, but I'm very excited. Man, this whole vlog has just been cars and bugs. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good vlog to me. Anyway, today has been a really lazy day, which generally I hate. Usually I'm always trying to do something. I hate relaxing, I hate taking naps, I hate doing nothing. But it's been a you know super hectic couple of weeks, and I also think waking up at 4 a.m. kinda kinda did a number on me. So honestly, I'm not that mad about relaxing today. And we get to do it all again tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna go clean my room because my mom asked me to, have some dinner, and then probably immediately go to bed. I'm going to bed when it's still light outside. How ridiculous is that? All right, so what up, pimps? It's the next day, I got off work, I came home. Yeah, so now I'm just playing some Minecraft. Like I said, waking up at like 5 a.m. and it just kills my motivation to be productive at all for the rest of the day, so I'm relaxing. But luckily, tomorrow's my day off, so hopefully I can find something productive, something fun to do, and something entertaining for the vlog. So I guess, uh, unless something else happens today, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, I basically, I don't know what I just dropped. Was that my phone? Anyway, I basically just played Minecraft all day for like seven hours straight. And I have not left this spot except for to eat dinner. So I think it's time to go to bed. Anyway, good night guys and I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Good morning, fellow Jake Paulers. What a beautiful day it is out here. Look at this, bro. Insane, got a really big day today. Okay, so right now I'm on my way to get my mom some Starbucks. Uh, after that, me and my dad are gonna clean the garage and then I have to record the podcast. And also I have a phone call later today that is one of the biggest phone calls of my life. And that's not even just me being dramatic, it affects my life a lot, actually. But overall, very busy day, I'm very excited. Let's get into it. that thing Ooh. that is a huge bee what we do <laughs> the thing's bigger than I am I can't take it on Ooh. look at that Ooh. thing <laughs> boy's huge whoa <laughs> <laughs> there watch he's following us dad let's lead him over oh I this I think this is definitely the biggest bee I've ever seen in my entire life like his wings are as big as most of the bees we see holy bro oh oh <laughs> Bang the window. Okay, Dad, he's uh, he's ground level. Holy crap! My man is furious. He's furious. Here we go. <laughs> hey, we got him, boys. Now we can get a close look. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> he almost got out. So you're not allergic to bees, so you should be like. Yeah, place. but I'm recorded, Dad. I got, <laughs> got an important job. No, if we lift this up, <laughs> you lift it up very slowly. I want to see it. So now, we take this off and we run. April's out here, dude. <laughs> what if she gets stung? <laughs> well, look at what you did now. <laughs> look at him go, he's free. He's free. Okay, so I'm now minutes away from having literally the most important phone call I've had to date. And you might be wondering, why are you driving if you're just going to have a phone call? Because the service at my house sucks. So I literally need to drive somewhere else so that I can actually, you know, hear 
the very important phone call. Actually, I really need to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom first to prepare. Well, she didn't answer. <laughs> Most important phone call of my life to date. And the person I'm calling didn't answer. I'm so nervous. Hey. Sorry about that. No, you're good. No worries. No worries. Okay, cool. Um, well, uh -huh. yeah, that helped a ton. Thank you so much. You bet. So if you have any other questions, just let me know. Yeah, you got it. Have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, so I just got off the phone. And that was the most useless conversation. It answered none of my questions. Basically what it was about was um, something I've been dreading for a very long time is going to college. I could not have enjoyed high school any more than I have enjoyed it so far. And I really, really don't want it to end. Um, I've made such amazing friends and I've gotten like really happy with, you know, my job. I love my job and I love my friends and I, you know, like, I've, I don't know. I've just gotten very comfortable with where I'm at. And for college, um, I got accepted to a really, really good college that's out of state. And so it's such a good opportunity that I can't just n not go. You know, when this whole thing started, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was, part of me was hoping that I, that it was gonna be online and so that I had an excuse to stay home for one more year. I think one more year and I could just hang out with friends and I could work and I could do all the stuff I wanna do. Um, and so basically I was calling to see what are the chances we're gonna be online, what are the chances that it's gonna be in person? Cause if it's online, I wanna defer for sure. Uh, which is never something I planned on doing. Deferring means that you're waiting until the next semester, the next year, to actually attend that college. And taking a gap year was never ever something I wanted to do, never something my family really recommended at all. Um, generally, I thought it was a bad idea for myself because I didn't want to get out of you know the school mindset, I just wanted to get it done with. Uh, my parents don't recommend it, my family doesn't recommend it, but then this whole thing started happening and they were like, you know, I told them, I was like, if it's online, I really don't think I'll learn very well and I'd rather go in person. So if I can defer, you know, if it is online, if, you know, how would you guys feel if I deferred and everyone was supportive of it um, and I think it was a good idea. And so basically that call was to my admissions counselor to see, are we going to be online? And so, you know, do I get my hopes up that I'm going to defer, which I know is so bad. I don't, it's never something I thought I would want, but I got, you know, I, just one more year would be a perfect uh, and basically she said, we don't know, but we'll find out in June. So basically I'll go into summer not knowing, you know, I have two months where I don't know if I'm, you know, if it's my last couple months with my friends or if I'm going to have a whole nother year. And I, yeah, I really just won't know. So it's, it's been stressful for the past year. And I was hoping that this call was going to answer my questions on whether I'm staying here for a year or if I'm leaving, you know, so I could prepare for that. And that didn't help at all. Cause now I can't prepare cause I, they don't know. And I don't know, ah! but I guess that's that. Nothing else really I can do. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, dude. I, this is not what I expected at all. I was thinking either I'd be like, man, I'm gonna, you know, I get another year with my friends. This is what I was thinking was gonna happen. Or uh, alternatively, I was thinking that maybe I'll be like, okay, well, now I know I'm leaving. But yeah, she was just like, yeah, you know, we don't know. <laughs> oh, that's frustrating, but. So, and yeah, I will lie, I've been getting my hopes up and I've been getting my friends hopes up and my boss's hopes up because I talked to my boss about, you know, I was like, hey, I think I might not have to leave and she was excited about that. And I talked to my friends about I might not leave and they got excited about that. And so now I might leave. Um, I don't know, it's a lot to think about. And part of me, as bad as it is, is hoping that the coronavirus is bad enough that I get to defer next year. Is that bad to say? Lots to think about. Anyway, I think uh, now I'm just going to go home, edit a little bit maybe, and uh, yeah, I, did, <laughs> I was just so nervous about that phone call and answered none of my questions. Okay, time to stop complaining and get back to the grind. Anyway, Chick-fil-A just sent me an email that said if I order online, it's free. So I'm about to get some free Chick-fil-A. Duh. Okay, tell me how I paid $5.20 for a sandwich, okay, 43 cents tax, and then they gave me a service fee, a small order fee, and then the tip. And it's eleven dollars and twenty cents. You said free, bruh. I could have just driven there. It's too late now, right? Can I cancel? How do I cancel? I got scammed. Nothing. Nothing's free. Boom, baby. This is an eleven dollar sandwich. Everybody, take this. Is a dollar. Look at me. Stop looking at me like that, April. Jeez, look at that. 
Anyway, I think that's going to end this day for the vlog. I don't think me and Gage are going to get around to recording the podcast tonight. I'll probably just edit the vlog. So anyway, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. What up, gangsters and gangstets? Just got off work. I worked another 5 a.m. shift today, so I am exhausted. I got to record and edit the podcast. And let me just say, I think it's the best one yet. So go check it out. Link in the description if you haven't already. Although I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning and I'm tired. I still got lots to do today. I got to try to edit this vlog to get it up by tomorrow, which is Friday, which is when I said I would upload this vlog. So tired is a mindset and see if I stay busy, if I stay active, if I can stay awake because I've kind of been slacking on editing this. You know what, maybe just a little something extra to help us out. Okay, let's go see how editing goes. Okay, so it didn't go great. <laughs> it is now Tuesday while I'm recording this. I missed like uh, four days, five days. That's totally my bad. But the reason is I just could not get like motivated to edit this vlog. Basically all I did every day was come back from work and like watch YouTube and relax and I don't know why, which is very unlike me. Usually I want to stay busy, I want to stay productive and stuff like that. But I just couldn't get into it and I didn't want to force it, so. Um, but now I'm done editing the vlog. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. It is a long one, sorry about that. Holy crap, 20 minutes? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it to the end, comment ostrich. I wanna see how many of you guys actually watched that whole video. And if not, screw you. Just kidding, but I don't really need to say just kidding because you didn't hear because you're not watching anymore, so. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying these weekly vlogs. I'm enjoying them a lot. Yeah, I guess I will see you all next Friday, which is actually like three days from now. So you guys get a whole nother week, three days from now, uh, assuming I edit it. Okay, bye.